Hello Taurus, this is going to be your weekly reading from the 9th until the 15th. Remember this is a general reading, it will not resonate with everyone. Um, so whatever may resonate with you, take that and leave the rest. Um, I would suggest you check out in the astrology your you also got the study card um in astrology I, um, I would recommend you check out your sun and rising and moon sign and then also um i would recommend you check out your north node because that will supply your guidance with your current life path thank you for subscribing and liking my channel i really appreciate that and um yeah um what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull the cards and then i'm going to basically give you um information towards um, your week and where are you heading with your week with a little bit of guidance so yeah Get some coffee, um, tea, and then let's see what does Aquarius need to, sorry, why am I saying Aquarius? Maybe someone can <laughs> be dating Aquarius. Okay, well, so this is for Taurus. This reading is for Taurus. It's Taurus general reading. From the 9th until the 13th. So, yeah, let's see. Um, you got the Golden Palace. I'm going to draw you a card. Uh, messages from Kevin. James von Graaf made this deck or created this deck. So, yeah, let's see. Um, maybe some of your loved ones transitioned and crossed over and would like um, to leave a message. And um, it's not going to resonate with everyone. I am with the rest of the family. This is really beautiful. So, like I said, it will not resonate with everyone. Taurus, so... Yeah. Now I'm going to draw you your weekly crystal card, mineral gemstone, that will assist you in your week to come. Let's see. Amethyst intuition intuition and mediumship okay and this is amethyst so it's speaking loudly about your intuition into something um maybe it's something that you just know maybe someone has not given you oh sure all the information they should okay you got three cards okay i'm going to keep them so you got speak up I'm just gonna put it there you got reassess i think dancer got this card as well and you got be of service let's just put them over there let's put them over there be of service okay you get additional cards this week, it seems. Oh, wow. This looked like a really positive week ahead so far for you. Um, and your intuition is going to guide you as well. So, um, that's a good thing. You are stepping into your power, it seems. And that's very, very good. 
Okay, so what is Torius going to know? From the line to the 15. Okay, so there is an offer coming in. Money maybe. I'm not going to read reversals. So Okay, the magician is telling me that you can manifest or create anything you want and with the star card you are balancing things out you also got the empress that is the mother earth the mother Gaia nurturer um, of all the signs so, wow, this really looks like an enlightened week for you, Doris. Very positive. Let's see. Taurus guidance for Taurus. Guidance for Taurus. Okay, so let's see what's going on. So, you got the study card. It says, yeah, Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it is important to go back and learn. Whether that's learning all things in a new way or learning something totally new, this is an opportunity to expand your mind. Then you also got the mediumship card and this is saying you have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. So these two go together um, quite well with intuition. You also got the golden palace and the, the card the golden palace is a real magical card. And it's telling you about there's always enough. So maybe you feel a bit stressed that you are maybe not enough or financial it's not enough, but there's always enough that God says. So good fortune is coming your way. And this can be in money form, it can be a possible gift, um, but abundance is definitely coming your way. And this is also saying emotional fulfillment. So to have emotional fulfillment, you need to step into your, I will say, soul power. Um, with the amethyst, I'm just going to put it here maybe. Oh, this is a better option with the amethyst basically this is saying make use of your intuition because yeah this is also required everything is enough it is abundant abundant sorry abundant but you need to speak up and reassess so what i could see here is you've got the ace of pentacles as i said um a gift a blessing Abundance is coming in. Money-wise, this can be oh, anything. Um, a gift from your family. A gift from your love interest. A gift from your work. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, this is really the abundance opportunity. The divine or the universe is handing you you know, financial abundance. With the star card, and this is Aquarius energy, you are balancing things out. So either you are balancing um, your work relationship, your, your friends, your family, your children, you are basically standing tall and you are in your power and you are balancing things out. With the Empress, as I said, Mother Earth, um, this is also abundance and blessings that you can bring, bring into fruition for you to happen. Um, this is also, she's the mother of all 
the um, queens in the minor arcana so um yeah she has achieved a lot this card can also mean fertility um, sorry that was my dog he sneezed then you've got the nine of cups and this is also wish fulfillment it says that money wise family wise you are in a happy space materialistic even you are in a very very happy space and with the magician you can create anything you want um, you can manifest anything you want so maybe you must use your intuition mediumship meditate um, to create something that you would like yeah, we've got the Five of Earth and this is the Five of Pentacles. It says here, yeah, you've got worries about money. And and I see this as very temporary because, yeah, abundance is coming in. And I mean, it can come in through any ways of means. So maybe you feeling a bit edgy um, about fears surrounding money you've got the knight of cups and this is emotional romantic contemplative failing in love or wedding proposals the need to balance emotions an invitation to a social event i think with this you need to reassess and speak up in your current if you know if you are in a love relationship speak up reassess and maybe be of service either to your love interest or your children or your family or work um, be of service to someone balance let's say balance the wheel of fortune what you give out and what you put out there comes back to you I see this card as that. Um, the Knight of Fire, Knight of Pentacles. So, um, a sudden event or information is going to come in and it will require immediate attention. So, think things through carefully. And then you've got the Two of Water, and this is the Two of Cups. It says that maybe. With the five of cups you had a little bit of a hurdle in past relationships or maybe a little bit of conflict in your current relationship but it shows me yeah that you guys are growing closer forgiveness is the essence yeah and i think that will bring you into this happy energy of a closer relationship is that you need to speak up you need to inform them about your needs as well and um, yeah i just this is really so positive for the week ahead and um, we've got really beautiful cards so the main thing that I would say here is remember abundance, blessings, money, fortune can come in for you, possibly within this week, money that you worked for, um, money that's been given to you, but just remember to have the balance in the sense of whatever you put out there comes back to you so just a small example um for example you go and visit a friend and you take a bottle of wine with so you are giving something then again you you get into a situation that you will receive something a blessing or a present or something again so remember whatever you put out there you will receive back have the balance in that speak up in your relationships that you can understand each other better 
if you've got extra time think of maybe studying further because that can also assist you with this financial abundance so this is maybe telling you with whichever field you are in work wise study further to reach this this golden palace but also practice a bit of meditation or mindfulness for your intuition to kick in and be of service be of service is basically where that balance come in. So yeah, I hope this could help. And um, it looks like you're going to have an amazing week ahead. So yeah, please stay in contact and send me a mail. Thank you.